Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like today is the day we are getting a rematch with Royce. Not too long ago, I met him with Grandpa Chad, and I believe he beat me by one stroke. Can't quite remember, but I know he beat me, that's for sure. Today, we find him in a online lobby. We're we'll gonna be getting the rematch here today. He is still infinite rank. Not to mention he's coming off a Super League win where he defeated literally the best players in Nintendo Switch Sports Golf. Which makes him undeniably the best player in Nintendo Switch Sports Golf right now. We're starting on hole 11. I'm glad I didn't backspin onto the fringe there. But I did spin quite far away, so I'm still 30 feet away. Okay. And if only I was 29 feet away, maybe I would have sunk that putt. Nice putt. This is an interesting start. It was hole 11 with two mile an hour wind. There were three pars. You can see who they are. And currently in an elimination position. But here we go into hole 12. We sink the eagle here. That should be enough to move on to the next round. If you remember my last video, game number six of that video, I made a eight point comeback. So right now, being three points down, it's literally nothing. Nice shot. I have a strong feeling that we can make it into the final. I'm not sure how good the rest of the lobby is, and so if one of the players tied for first right now can hold out, play very consistently, it will be difficult to get the number one spot. But we will see. Let's just play through this game. First of all, we got to make it out of the first round. That's the first goal right now. Nice shot. All right, I don't mind that position. Nice. Power was pretty good with the spoon there. Obviously could have adjusted a little bit more for the wind, but being only 18 feet away, putting for eagle. It's as good as I could have asked for. Actually, not really. I guess I could have asked for an albatross, but I barely sink that eagle putt. I really got to tune up my putting for the rest of this game if I want any chance at winning. All right, solid clutch up uh, after a very poor first hole. So still down by three points, but only to one player. So I'm now tied with second or tied in second with Bryce. But at the moment, the battle is not between us. We are down three points to LJ. We're gonna have to make a one stroke comeback on the next three holes. We got hole 13, very, very difficult wind here. Definitely need backspin here because the hole's at the near side of the green. But I think the wind's a bit of a tailwind, so I can't go full power on the seven. Uh, wow, okay, so honestly, power was okay. Had I got the aim right, it would have been really close. But way off of the wind, I was really, really expecting the wind to carry me a lot more, as you could clearly tell. Dude, my putting is lucky is a good way to describe it. I mean, that was very, very, very close. Yes, I did have like the perfect power where it didn't lip out. Obviously, the aim could have been way better, but kept myself in the game. We are in a position where we would be advancing to the finals if we were to get through this hole, which is hole 15. Looks like there's some strong wind yet again. Alright, I'm low-key second-guessing my wind adjustment here, especially after last hole. But I feel like that's enough to get onto the green, so I'm gonna go 7 iron, about 3 and a quarter power.
And this has not been a good game so far. I have not played very well, but I'm somehow still in it. I mean, 41 after 4 is a decent score. You, you, I did get the eagle, but I just feel like my chips are not there right now. Don't think my gameplay is too good right now, but somehow still in second, still tied for second, that is. And moving on to the final hole in a three-point deficit, it is hole five. Going to need to come up with something clutch here if I want to snag the win. Nice shot. And to be honest, my par was a bit of an unfortunate one. I just it was uh, 0 0.6 feet away from that birdie putt. Still a mistake because I didn't give it enough power, but just a couple pixels more power would have been tied for first. But that is the way it goes in Nintendo Switch Sports Golf. Nice and the pin is not in a nice position for the chip and eagle. But I'm going to be relatively close, and so it is on the table, I guess. Nice shot. It is no longer nice on the table. And I think with that, I have solidified my second place finish. So a bit of an unfortunate batch, but for my first game of the day, I guess I can't complain. However, now that I'm a bit more warmed up, next game I better not make the same mistakes as I did this game. I did end up tying with Royce, the infinite player. However, we both lost, and so that's nothing to be proud of. And I might gain some rank here just because I... Well, I don't know. We'll find out here shortly. You actually gained a decent amount for a second. Jump into another game. I will see you there. Somebody got the chip in there who I think was tied with me. And so as it stands, I'm not going to be in a progressing position. So on 30 points, down one point from advancing, four points from first. And we move on to hole 11, which is not what I want to see. Par threes, when you need a comeback, is not good because most of the people just get birdies. If that's the case, I'm not going to be going through because of the mistake that I made on 14. Really coming back to bite me here. Hole in one is pretty much necessary here. So you know what? Let's just do that. Get a hole in one. And uh, just make sure we progress to the finals. Nice shot. Uh, well... You can't have everything in life, I suppose. Nice Alrighty, next game of the video. I am pretty annoyed about that last game. I lipped out of the hole in one to advance to the final. Like it wasn't even a deserved lip out like where you were literally on the edge of the hole and like it just doesn't make sense for the ball to drop in. I mean, I'm gonna have to watch it back when I'm editing, but I'm pretty sure we were like relatively good aim. Maybe we just had too much power, but watching that live, I feel like that could have gone in. Honestly, I was expecting it to like hit the pin and then drop in. Nice. So that's really annoying. And now I'm out for revenge. Whoever these chumps are in my lobby right now, I am absolutely not sorry for what I'm about to do to you this game. Birdie there on hole 10. When you're starting on hole 10, nothing special. You're just going to be tied for first after the first hole. So really, the game hasn't even started now. There's just been four players who have showed that they suck at the game. But other than that, tied for first, moving on to the second hole. Hole 11 here. Redemption time, maybe. With 24 mile an hour wind, 
really not expecting a hole in one. And when I say expecting, I like legitimately was expecting a hole in one last uh, hole 11 that you saw at the end of the video or the end of the game last game. But absolutely expecting a birdie here. Although to be completely honest, not in easy uh, conditions at all. I, I don't know if three and a half's too little. Well, that ended up being pretty good. I did obviously end up going over three and a half. The issue for me was I didn't know how aggressive the backspin was going to be. So I wanted to go a little bit less power just so I didn't go as far. But I didn't want to risk being in the bunker, so I did go more power. Tried my best to get aggressive backspin, which is exactly what I got. I just stopped swinging the Joy-Con like even before my hips. In real life, that's how you get uh, aggressive backspin. The earlier you stop swinging, theoretically, or how it's supposed to work, is the earlier you stop swinging, the more backspin you get. I find it doesn't always play out that way, but it worked that time, so another birdie. And uh, another player dropping off. Tied for first after holes 10 and 11, and no surprise there. Moving on to 14. This is the hole where I messed up last game. I tried to get cute with my stroke 2 and ended up missing the green. Then I paid the price by missing the chip, getting the birdie, which is why I was eliminated on 40 points. So I need some redemption here. I'm going to go my newfound strategy of a little bit under full power on the driver. Nice shot. Can you imagine hitting a tree? It could not be me, bro. Could not be me. Obviously, a good play to go 5-iron there. 3-iron would have been a bit more tricky to get the precise power. Needed the backspin. I always add backspin when I'm chipping onto the green on 14. Ended up working really well. Spun right back into the hole for a nice 18 points. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I am not sorry for what I'm doing to these players. 7-point lead moving on to hole 4. Not literally hole 4, but the 4th hole of the game, which ends up being 15. All right, 15 here, pretty standard play. If your standard of golfing is coming extremely close to the rough because you can't drive properly. No, I'm kidding, that was calculated. Gives me, I mean, I'm closer to the green, so now I can just go nine iron, a little bit under full power. Get the perfect power roll right into the hole for the chip and eagle. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's fine. Ten feet away. Easy birdie putt. And I'll just maintain my seven-point lead going into the finals. Alright, so seven-point lead over second, and what is that, a 11-point lead over third? Both those players are out of it. They're just fighting for the title of best loser at this point. And this is kind of funny. Hole one as the last hole of the game when two players are in need of a comeback. It's kind of just like rubbing salt in the wound. I'll take it though because that means I can just easily win even if I completely butcher this hole. I'll still probably win. Because I could literally get par and the guy in second would get a chip in and I'd still be tied for first. Nice Obviously shot. I'm not going to get par so as soon as I sink my birdie putt I'll lock in the victory. Honestly, I kind of wonder if wedge is going to be enough with the wind. Probably not, but I'm going to go for it just as a like a learning experience, I guess. Just to see how much 22 mile an hour wind will carry my wedge shot. Nice shot. Oh wow, quite a bit actually. I am surprised at that, but... 
Like I said, as soon as I think the birdie putt, I'll get the victory and we will move on to another game. So a 58 point performance after that clutch albatross and some somewhat tricky birdies. We had hole 11, which was tricky win. Can't remember what the other holes of the game were, but 58 to 51 to 44. Honestly, don't remember what the ranks of this lobby were, so don't know what rank to expect here. Should be some for a, a, a first place though, which it is, some. And uh, that was a pretty good game number, technically game number three. So I'll see you in technically game number four. Alrighty, fourth game of the video here. Lobby full of A players, pretty standard stuff here. Not even like a single S player though, other than myself obviously, but just seven A players versus one S player. Let's see who comes out on top. I feel like I have a big responsibility here on my shoulders to uh, carry the entire S community. Make sure we come out on top. Ooh, that's really bad. Bad start to the game. Really bad start, actually, because the tree is in my way. However, I might be able to adjust enough for the wind to miss the tree. Although, maybe I just go full power, backspin, land on the green, and then get a nice putt for a birdie. I like that idea. All right, step one of my plan has fallen into place. Nice now comes step two, the 19.2 foot putt. Oh yeah, there it is. A nice putt for birdie. Nice birdie. Everything fell into plan exactly how I wanted it to. And looks like I was the only one to birdie, and so gonna be jumping out to a three point lead here. Actually only two pars as well, so three points over two players and a five-point lead over two players, I think, and then the rest of them were just, like, literally toilet water. And this is interesting because I don't know where my ball is going to bounce when it hits the green. Probably to the right, though, so just got to get the power here. I think a little bit under three and a half. Ooh, that's not that good. I mean, I calculated the bounce right. Just got too much power. Or maybe I got the right power but needed backspin. Either way, I literally cannot see the hole right now. So this is going to be a blind putt. Ooh, we'll take it. Miracle putt sunk. Beautiful 20 points after two tricky holes. And with that nice birdie putt, I will be extending my lead to six points already. And two holes in, a six point lead. We'll absolutely take it. Good bounce back from the first and technically the second game as well. So hole two with pin at the back. Just gonna go seven, a little bit under full power. Nice shot. A slight tailwind as well. And not a bad approach. And a good putt. Very consistent 30 points after three holes. Going to be maintaining my six point lead. It's, it's good to see that these A players can birdie hole two. That's uh, a staple for sure. You would expect them to be able to do that. But we're moving on to hole three. We've had seven, eight, two, three, all resort holes. So kind of hope we get a classic uh, for the final hole. Or special hole, actually. Special would be way better. I really wish they would add special holes to the regular rotation. Nice so you can get them, like, at any point in the game. Nice Hopefully I make it through the trees here. Alright, I do. 
That tree on the left has a bit of a smaller hitbox than it looks. Something I've noticed just from playing this hole. So you can kind of use that to your advantage sometimes. Clip the tree a little bit and not slow down at all. And this will not be the easiest chip. Honestly, I've been playing this hole and last hole pretty fast. I'm like a little bit checked out mentally just because I know I have a six point lead. I know I'm going to win. So I'm kind of just finishing out the game, you know, just get the rank. This is a bad chip. Doesn't really matter. Which it is. But honestly, might even still be able to secure 30. Yeah, we do. Nice birdie from the fringe there. Put me at 40 points going into the final. So going to the final, just going to maintain my six-point lead. It's been a pretty quiet game, honestly. Especially since the semifinal started. Looks like Dude is dropping off to a nine-point deficit. Wow, looks like this game is going to be all resort holes. Take that as you will. I'm not, well, I'm not not a fan of resort, but I prefer classic over resort. Obviously, I think most people do, although resort is more of a challenge. But like I said, I was hoping for a special hole, but we will be finishing off this game with hole five. Nice shot. The pin is in a not too bad position. Maybe you can secure the chip in eagle. As I clear the tree quite nicely. Honestly, I did try to go to the left of the tree, but... The wind carried me to the right. At least I didn't hit it. Nice because had I hit the tree, that would have been pretty unfortunate. I would have had to take an extra stroke to get away from the tree, then drive onto the green. And that would have left me a stroke behind. But that didn't happen, so 37 yards away from the chip. Let's see if we can make it happen here. Uh, no, not even close. Nice Actually, way not even close. That was super far away. Super bad chip. Still some birdie, though. Very consistent. Pretty easy. 50 points for the game. And in the battle between 7A players, 1S player. Looks like the S players do come out on top by a mere 6 points. I don't know how much rank I'm going to get. Like, there were no lettered ranks in this lobby, no C or D. And I think the players were on the higher end of A rank, so let's take a look here. It's okay, not too much, but I'll take it. Decent rank anyway. If you enjoyed this video, especially the last two games, hit the like button, and I'll see everybody in the next video.